I think you're going to see a shift away from some of the traditional machine learning stuff into more simulation based modeling. Any particular approach, any particular algorithm is going to solve some set of problems, but it's not going to solve every set of problems. If we can simulate out the future, we can explore all the different alternative possibilities, and that really opens up a whole new frontier. Hello, this is Conversations in Artificial Intelligence. This is Paulo, your host, and today we're going to talk about a super interesting topic, which is basically how do we form the data scientists and the artificial intelligence specialists of the future. So with me today, we have Casey Bennett, who is a data scientist working in the field of uh, healthcare. He is a professor at DePaul University in Chicago. So where do you think the AI itself will go in the sense that this, we will have a new source of data, we will have new applications, but do you expect that AI will get to a next level? Yeah, I think you're going to see a shift away from, you know, a lot of the machine learning algorithms that are existing today are really focused on prediction of some event, you know, in, you know, what have you, or is this picture a cat or a dog, or does this person have a tumor or not a tumor, what have you. I think you're going to see a shift away from some of the traditional machine learning stuff into more simulation based modeling. I, that's actually, I've done over the last few years, I've done less and less sort of traditional build a neural network, build a, a Bayesian classifier, whatever. And I've been doing more and more simulation stuff. It, it comes down to this issue of, and you, you talk to anybody in the AI field, they'll tell you this is any particular approach, any particular algorithm is going to solve some set of problems, but it's not going to solve every set of problems. Uh, right. So like deep learning, right. It's really good at classifying images. But for other kinds of problems, it doesn't work so well, you know. And so what we need are a wide array of approaches. And I think you're going to see um, more and more of a movement away from traditional what we call machine learning type stuff, the stuff you see in Psych and Spark, and people doing more simulation-based approaches. Well, I got this massive amount of data in real time from people's daily lives. And so we really have the capability of starting to simulate out these sort of what-if scenarios. Uh, if certain things happen, rather than just trying to predict, you know, yes versus no, black versus white, tumor versus not tumor. And so I think simulation-based modeling, agent-based simulations, multi-agent simulations, I think that's really going to become more and more important with AI moving forward. If we can simulate out the future, what may happen, rather than just trying to make a prediction, we can explore all the different alternative possibilities. And that really opens up a, a whole new frontier in artificial.